Hey guys, Chit Fahadungs here, and today we're gonna to be talking about all of my gear. Uh, this is where I keep everything, everything is in its neat case, and we're gonna wheel all of this out into the other room and go through what's in them. So, let's go. And again, this is definitely the Lomo. Here we are, more and more. More. This is almost the last of it. Oh. And this is it. This is everything. Okay. Where to start? So it's been a while since uh, I've done this, and I'm just gonna start with whatever's closer to me. This is the Lomo Square Front 35 mil. Okay, so this is Van Diemen's work. This was almost two years to get here. This is super smooth aperture, super smooth focus, perfect gears, Cine standards and PL. This is the back of it. This is a Lomo square front, gorgeous. This is the 37 to 140. I showed it on the last video and it needed uh, servicing. It's and it stayed with Ilya Volkov, and he did an amazing job with this lens. It looks way, way better than it ever did. I also switched it for a PL mount instead of EF. Uh, PL is the Cine standard, and the reason why this is preferred over all other flimsy camera mounts is because this goes into the camera, and the camera kind of hugs it. So it's super, super solid and there's absolutely no play on the mount. Huge, huge front anamorphic zoom, which is a rare, rare thing to come across. It's the kind of lens that you can use for an entire project. This is where the Iskorama lives. It is currently in Ukraine with Max uh, for the Proxyscope, Maxiscope mod rehousing. It's actually the only anamorphic adapter that I kept from all of this time. These are two lenses from the contact set. This is the 15 and this is the 60 macro. These are more like specialty lenses so they don't belong in the set. This is the AE version, not the MM, because this one does one to one macro while the MM version only does one to two. And then the rest of the contact set is here. 21, 35, 50, 85, and 135. These have all been mod modded and serviced and upgraded by Ron at SimMod Lens. So he makes these beautiful metal lens caps. Uh, these are yeah, 85 mil fronts for standard Mac boxes and filter, cine filters. Uh, the 21 is it's a rectilinear, super wide angle. So there's no crazy distortion going on the sides. And the fun thing about the contact set is if you look at the other video, there used to be a 28 mil and there was another 50 mil. So the old 50 is here. And because of a too strong focus uh, motor, it broke in half. So this is the optical block of a 50. The 28 also had some focus issues and it got stripped with like pieces of it falling inside of the lens. So that one's completely dead, this one's completely dead. I, all of these contacts, small lenses in here, I got them for the anamorphic guide, which just came out. As you can see, these have ovals inside, 35 mil, 50, 28, 85 mil. And as you open it up, the oval shows up. I have two 135s from this budget contact set because I wanted to make them all in AE for the anamorphic so they could be extra cheap. But it turns out the 135 AE is impossible to open. So I had to get the MM version, which is ever so slightly more expensive. And that one, put it over one side. So this makes the entire anamorphic contact set, which I only built for the anamorphic guide. And I'm gonna be selling it soon. So I kept these with the original mounts so I could use them on this film camera and have anamorphic film. Hopefully that's gonna work. This goes here. 
And these are the Russian set. Since you last saw them, they got some serious upgrades. They went to Russia again for Ilya Volkov to service them. He's an absolute genius with Soviet glass. And he made these metal focus and iris gears. These are all industry standard sizes. Uh, aligned with the EF mount so the lenses perform optimally. They have double zero serial numbers and all of them also have the red P, which is a very special coating. It's the purple coating that you can see on these lenses. These are the closest copies to the original German size lenses. It's much higher quality control and they're more consistent through the set. So I got 37, 58. They're all adapted to EF mounts. Um, 85, this is a Jupiter 9. The Gallius 40, which is an 85 mil F1.5. And it's just a chunk of glass. This lens is way too heavy. One of the coolest things that Ilya did uh, in his work, if you ever played with Soviet lenses, the aperture ring is reversed, so you, they're never really sure at what aperture you're at. And what he did was uh, the iris mechanism actually matches what the aperture ring says. The last one in the set is the Tire 11, not the Tire 11A. And then these are the iron glass anamorphics in PL mount and silver. So these are the flashiest lenses I have. Look great, super smooth, great operation, great performance. PL mount, so extra pricey. <laughs> uh, 37 mil, 58, 85, and 135. These are my most recent acquisitions. This is a Delrama or a Vistascope. And it's one of the weirdest lenses I've tested. I don't know why I decided to get these again. And then I found a Mint 1.51 that I got recently. This is my latest lens purchase. It's brand new. It came with a lot of things that I've never seen on these lenses before. And this is a tutorial on how to take Hollywood widescreen movies and slides. This is the ultimate solution. This is what you need and it's only four pages. You might have noticed I have a lot of lens cases. That was probably the biggest change from the latest, the last video. They make a huge difference in taking care of the gear. Uh, these are all nano cases, so they're made in Canada and they have a crazy Black Friday sale. So it's like weeks away, they go 50% off. So I'm bracing to buy a few more cases. If you have any questions about any of the lenses discussed, shoot a comment and if you haven't subscribed and you like anamorphic this is the time to smash that bell subscribe to the channel leave a comment telling me which of these lenses have you ever tried or haven't you and you're dying to i hope you like this and that you learned something see ya chit feathings out